Suaco or Marianela, which is my real name. You might have noticed that I changed my name. Don't worry, I'm still not sure if I'm going to keep Miwako or my real name. I'm still me, you can still call me Miwako, it's, it's okay. So, <laughs> it's been a month since I made a video. So many things happened, but I'm not gonna talk about that. Today is a very, very happy, exciting, cute video because we are going to be unboxing no older <laughs> than this doll over here this is the Mori Girl Pulip doll I had no idea that they released a Mori Girl version until not so long ago and I was totally obsessed with her I just obviously had to get it <laughs> that's why I also dress up kind of a little bit like her just to commemorate this day so I'm very very happy and excited I filmed the unboxing so you're going to watch that now uh, so you can have a better look at the doll so yeah I'm very happy as you can see she's very huge <laughs> as you can see so I'm very very happy uh, with this purchase she was very expensive so a little bit of information about this doll this doll was released in 2019 so I have no idea it hasn't been that long but at the same time it's been quite long <laughs> for me so this doll's name is called Momori which I think is very very cute um, the face design is made by German face up artist called Miki Yoshi which I'm going to link in the description box. She painted and designed her face. This doll was also a collaboration with Nenel et Laluli, which she designed the whole outfit. So it was a collaboration with these two artists. It was amazing. I had never heard about these two artists, but you can check both of her Instagrams. You can see the mock-ups and the concept designs of the doll, which is pretty cool. So without any more waiting, let's go ahead with the unboxing of Pomori. I hope you like it. See you later. So this is the box of the doll. As you can see here, the package came from South Korea, which to me uh, was super shocked to see because uh, I thought that everything arrived from Japan. This arrived in seven days just after I purchased it. The only thing that made me worry is because I never received any news about the tracking or the shipping. I don't know if that happened because I purchased as a guest. I just received the box just by surprise, just to keep you in mind. I had never purchased from this website before. The only reason why I did it is because they only focus on polyp dolls. So yeah, and this is also uh, the cheaper place where I got it from. So, are you ready? This is the first ever tulip doll that I ever own, so I'm very excited. I was gonna make this video SMR, I wasn't sure if I was gonna contain my excitement, so yep. <laughs> I'm already excited. Oh, this is so cute. Yep, this is the website uh, of the uh, shop. Polyp.net. Ooh, they have like a catalog. This is so cute. This is one of the other dolls that I've been wanting. Um, oh, wow, this is a mage looks pretty cool it tells a tiny description of every uh, doll which I think is pretty cute I'm very nice very nice I never had this experience <gasps> oh my gosh you know I saw this on their website and I was gonna purchase it so this is so exciting because I did not have to they just gave it to me and it's this one <laughs> in particular so I'm very happy I wanted to get it because obviously it looks kind of moody so yeah I'm very excited I got it for free 
so it's very very cute it is more high quality than I thought that it was going to be so yeah oh my god <laughs> very happy even though I just got a mouse pad oh I just got a mouse pad um, yeah <laughs> oh so happy very very nice now the doll oh my gosh it's more bigger than I expected oh my gosh like look at my hand and look at the face so far oh my gosh it's huge this is my first time impression of Pulip dolls and the Momori, uh, Mori Girl doll there's nothing else on the box so we're good <laughs> so yeah it's all wrapped so let's try to undo all this the box is so cute these people tape this very nicely it's very nicely wrapped dun, 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 dun. We have a deer over here, bunny, birds. Oh my gosh, like again, look at my hand. This is huge. Like, oh, this is so cute. Yep, as you can see, it's an original. You can see the um stamp Xion San Xion Ha All Rice Reserve This is the website So in here we receive information about oh the stand it came with a stand I have no idea Okay, it says how to make doll stand bar length is adjustable insert bar to the whole Okay, and this is how to change the eyes. Close it and open it. Good to know. Dun, 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 dun. Oops. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, look at the background. This is the hairpiece. Again, very big. Uh, this is the bag. In here oh this stand is very cute I'm very glad that it wasn't black like a lot of like um, anime figures so it looks very nice <gasps> they even gave me a photo of her oh my gosh I ruined that side so sad um so yeah let's check over here it says oh my god it is a very hard um, card it kind of bends a little bit but it looks like this he said hearing soft voices out of the forest following the path throughout a sunflower field a warm place in the nature feels like so her name momori so cute and in the back it has the profile so let's see what it says in here birthplace so korea Bilingual race in Italy. She's a Gemini. She was born in May. She has 17 years old. I'm sorry. Blood type O. Current address in Milan, Italy. A student, some kind of private private high school in Milan. A student based high school in Milan in drama school. Personality, active, lively, aggressive personality, a little flagious. I don't know what that means. Interior designer, brother, watching movie, musical, theaters, shopping. <laughs> I did not expect any of the information of her. So it was unexpected. I thought that it was gonna say something like Japan because I mean, Mori Girl is from Japan, not Korea. But yeah, it just took me by surprise. 
I don't know if this information would have changed if I had bought this from Japan, so I am not sure. Now, let's see. Let's take out the, the base. The base is quite cute. It's quite lightweight. And this is the other part of the base. Everything is very, very nicely um, attached to the box. So this is the stand. This is the pad. This is the back. It's very, very cute. Look at all of the details. That's amazing. It even opens. <laughs> That's so cool. Very, very nice hair, hair accessory. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. So nicely uh, made. This is the headband. We have um, more over here. So this is the headband made out of lace trims. Very nice. Now for the most important part, the doll. At last, <laughs> she was so hard to take out of the box. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, the hair is so soft. Her hair is a lot more lighter than I thought uh, it was going to be. On the camera, it looks like light brown, but in person, it looks more yellowish. Um, her hair is a little bit of a mess. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this part over here looks like a mess. But yeah, oh my gosh, I never um, never had a pullet before, so yeah. This is uh, to change the eyes. But yeah, before that, <laughs> can we appreciate how cute she looks? Uh, this is uh, her fur uh, neck piece. I forgot the name of it. I think you can take it off with the ribbon. It's very, very soft. This is a close-up of Momori. The shoes look so real. This is her um, cardigan. It feels very nice actually. Like, very very nice. Look at that. So tiny. These are her eyes on makeup. Look at the design of the um, eyebrows and eyelashes and everything. Look at that. <laughs> so cute. I really like how soft her makeup is. This is how I really, really like it. Her lips are uh, a little bit glossy. I don't know if you can tell. Very, very cute. This is so soft. The dress looks fantastic. It looks very nicely uh, made. Everything looks quite nice actually. So yeah, this is how it looks under. Uh, her socks. Everything feels like a real clothes. Very good quality to be honest. Her shoes are even a little bit flexible and everything. The boots, it says uh, Shiosan Xiongha. Let's put her the hair accessory. The 
this is how she looks with her hair piece. It does make a huge difference. Uh, it looks more cute. I don't know how to exactly attach the bag because it keeps falling. But yeah, this is how she looks with the bag and everything. She has some movements in the hands. You can move her hands like this. Yep, basically you can do a lot of things, which is pretty nice. Oh, I was going to assemble it and I had no idea that she came with like shorts or underwears. Um, nothing on top, <laughs> but yeah, I did not uh, had any idea about that, which is kind of cool. I took off her boot because I wanted to see her legs. You can move... Uh, her legs however you want to which is pretty cool um yep sit her too which is one of the things that i have seen people do a lot which is pretty cool like she's huge man she's huge yep putting the boot was also quite easy so that's very nice so now let's see if i can remove yep I can remove uh, this piece over here. See if, if I can take off her cardigan. I think I can. Yep. I can also take off her cardigan. Very nice. Very, very nice. And this is how she looks in the back. Her back is made out of velcro and it reached up to here. So yeah, you can also take it off, but I'm <laughs> worried about YouTube kind of um, saying something about that. So <laughs> yeah, I'm very, very happy with this doll. Her cardigan looks so amazing. It's very nicely done. And he has a label clip over here. It says Shosan Shoha, all rice reserve, everything over there. <laughs> so cool. So, yep. Ooh. <laughs> it kind of looks cool like that. So, if I push, she can close her eyes or move to the sides. She can only move. To the sides oh she also can move her head had no idea so if you want to close her eyes you push one of the buttons and you close her eyes and the middle one is to change the direction where you want her to look and um, yeah the other one is for the other eye I want to show you how her hair looks under I had no idea that this doll had ears <laughs> But yeah, uh, so yeah, this is how it looks on the bottom, the buttons that I just told you. And this is her wig. Like you can see uh, a little bit how many layers of hair she has. I think she has like three. Uh, this part of the hair kind of annoys me a little bit, but yeah. She's very, very cute. I'm very happy with her. I uh, really, really like it. So guys, what do you think about this cute Momori doll from Pulip? Do you like it? Are you planning on getting her? Do you have any other Pulip dolls? Anything that you want to say, don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, thank you very much to all the people who have watched my Modi Girls content videos. I really, really appreciate they take a little time to make, so I'm very glad that uh, it has helped some people. I'm going to keep doing more Modi Girls videos, so don't forget to hit the subscribe button to my channel. Don't forget to also hit the like button if you like this video. So guys, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next week. Take care. Bye bye.